Hello, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be looking at the symptoms of a bad ignition relay. The fuse box, among other parts, plays a crucial role in the overall vehicle functionality. In your vehicle's fuse box, the ignition relay is one of the essential electronic relays. This is positioned beneath the hood in the engine compartment and supplies power to the ignition and fuel systems. But before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and share this video. When considering symptoms, an unresponsive ignition switch is the most prevalent sign of a malfunctioning ignition relay. In the morning, you might notice indicators like engine stalls or a dead car battery. A burnt electrical scent might also be detected in rare circumstances. An ignition relay is typically found in the engine compartment with a few additional relays and fuses. Suppose the relay fails to meet its specifications. In that case, you'll notice problems with various engine parts, including the fuel pump and ignition coil. Where is the ignition relay located? To find the ignition relay, you must look inside the engine compartment under the hood, particularly inside the fuse box. The ignition relay and the other relays are housed in a long black tube in the fuse box. Suppose you are not able to locate your car relay. In that case, you may need to refer to your car service manual, which your vehicle manufacturer provides. Although possible, the ignition relay is unlikely to be found anywhere else in your car. A schematic in the fuse box will generally assist you in finding the ignition relay. If you can't find what you're looking for here, consult your vehicle service or maintenance manual. You'll need to contact a mechanic if these are no longer available. What are the symptoms of a bad ignition relay? Ignition relay issues can be quite a handful to deal with. With the symptoms highlighted in this section, spotting the symptoms of bad ignition relay will become even more accessible. 1. Burned Relay a relay can overheat, burn, or melt at any time. It has the potential to melt the fuse panel. Because the outer housing of the relay is commonly plastic, you will notice a persistent stench of burning plastic. This issue prevents power from reaching your engine, resulting in poor performance, stalling, and difficulty starting. It's difficult to remove a blown fuse. It will certainly require a mechanic's services, and you may need to replace the entire fuse box. 2. Unresponsive ignition because the ignition relay supplies power to the ignition, it isn't functioning correctly if the ignition is unresponsive when you turn it on with your key. The ignition prepares the vehicle for startup by priming the fuel pump and starter. The relay will fail if the lights or other devices don't turn on when you turn on the ignition. If your relay fails, you won't be able to drive your vehicle. 3. Malfunctioning Fuel Pump The ignition relay may malfunction if your fuel pump does not respond when the car starts. Once you create your vehicle, the fuel pump will immediately start working, and you may hear a slight buzzing sound to indicate this. The fuel pump receives some power from the ignition relay, so if the ignition relay isn't delivering the right amount of energy to it, it won't be able to start when the car starts. The ignition and fuel pump relay may be faulty if the fuel pump fails to feed fuel to the combustion chamber. 4. Engine Malfunction When you start your automobile, the engine usually starts, and you hear all the appropriate noises. Still. The engine power drops or stops, and you cannot drive. It will directly impact if the ignition relay fails to provide enough current to the fuel pump or ignition coil when your car is turned on. As a result, the engine will lose power after a few seconds of running. The ignition relay may need to be replaced if this happens every time you start your automobile. 5. Drained Battery Whenever you turn off the ignition key, the ignition relay should turn off power to all engine components. Otherwise, the car battery would be drained if you leave it running overnight. If the ignition relay fails, the ignition system may remain on even after the keys have been withdrawn from the ignition. After removing the key, the circuit will not open, and the battery will discharge. As a result, the ignition relay could be to blame if you're looking at a battery that died after working the day perfectly before. 6. Starting Problems Another sign of a faulty ignition relay is persistent difficulty starting the vehicle. The battery should be checked first. The ignition relay should then be reviewed. A difficult to start car isn't necessarily indicative of a malfunctioning ignition relay. Still, it's more likely if there are additional issues, such as your electrical system going nuts off and on or the beginning being unpredictable. It's not wrong to have your relay checked, replacing it should be part of your regular maintenance. 7. 
Stuttering engine, if your engine stalls, it could signify that the ignition relay is malfunctioning. When your vehicle's engine stalls, it implies it shuts down while you're traveling. The gasoline pump gets power from the ignition relay, which keeps the engine running. If the fuel pump does not receive steady power, insufficient gasoline will ignite the proper air fuel mixture, and the engine will shut down. Because a broken fuel pump relay might cause an engine to stall due to insufficient power to the fuel pump, it's critical to have the problem diagnosed. 8. The starter motor won't stop running, your automobile will not start because a signal from the relay cannot reach the starting motor. Instead of opening an electric circuit, the ignition relay may fail to close it. The starter motor will continue to operate even after your engine has started. It's supposed to stop after the engine starts, but it will because the ignition relay can't close the circuit. Sometimes, after removing the key from the ignition, the start relay may continue to run in rare instances. If this happens, the ignition relay and the starter motor could be seriously damaged. A broken ignition relay most commonly causes this problem. However, it can also be caused by lock cylinder binding. What happens when starter relay goes bad? The battery's electrical signal cannot reach the starting motor when the starter relay malfunctions. As a result, your car engine will likely not start, no matter how you turn the ignition. When you turn on the ignition, a faulty relay makes an audible clicking sound. Even when the ignition key is removed, the starter motor may run. The starter and transmission flywheel are quickly damaged due to this scenario. While a broken starter relay could be blamed, the most common cause is a binding ignition lock cylinder. Call a mechanic immediately when you notice such a symptom and hear this noise. How do I know if my starter relay is bad? We will be covering some of the symptoms of a bad starter relay. 1. Starting problems. When the starting relay functions correctly, it transmits power to the starter each time it is engaged. However, debris, grime, and high heat contained this component. In these circumstances, the starting relay may be forced to work intermittently. It could be the relay going faulty if you start the vehicle and it doesn't activate immediately, but you try again, and it works. Thankfully, you're getting a warning that the starter relay is failing, giving you enough time to get it repaired before becoming stranded. If the relay isn't broken, there could be a faulty or corroded wire connection underneath the hood. 2. While the engine is running, the starter is left on. You release your key or stop pressing the button after starting the car. The circuit should close at this point, and everything should resume regular operations. The starter motor is cut off entirely by this closed circuit. However, the starter relay can become jammed closed if the primary contacts become welded together. The starter will remain activated even if the engine is running, indicating that this has occurred. The whining noise you should hear will tell you that this is happening. 3. Clicking sounds you might hear clicking noises when the automobile battery is low on amperage. Still, it could also indicate that the starter relay failed. It occurs when the relay is unable to send out the entire signal. The relay usually functions on an all-or-nothing basis. It will send the entire electrical current, or it will not send anything. However, if the starter relay becomes damaged, only a portion of the signal may be sent. You will hear a clicking sound when you attempt to turn the key. 4. Vehicle not starting the most apparent indication of a failed starting relay is that the automobile will not start. Even when employing electronic keys, the starter relay could be the source of the problem. The starting relay is still active when pressed because these keys don't have a manual ignition switch. Whether you crank the key or touch a button, it could be the starter relay when the vehicle doesn't start. The failure of a circuit that prevents the ignition system from activating is the most common cause. What are the symptoms of a blown starting fuse? The most typical sign of a blown starting relay is that your car will not start. The auto starter relay fuse may have blown if you cannot begin your automobile. The automobile will not start, no matter how many times you attempt. If you hear a clicking sound when trying to start the vehicle, it's possible that the starting relay hasn't entirely failed. If you know your way around an ignition system, you must diagnose it in any instance. Bad starter relay sound a malfunctioning relay makes an audible clicking sound when you turn your car. If your starter relay fails, the electrical signal from the battery to the starter motor will never reach it. Consequently, your engine will not start, no matter how you turn the key. In conclusion, many minor components make up the ignition system. Clean and lubricate the parts of your ignition system. Corrosion can occur in the ignition relay connectors, resulting in a malfunction. Knowing the signs and symptoms of a malfunctioning starting relay and how to fix it will help. This is all we've got in today's video. 
Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and share this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.